Lena Falja, everyone. Good morning from Belgrave in Melbourne, Victoria, Australia. Um, just for anyone that's not an Aussie and doesn't know what I'm talking about. Today, my family and I, I have several tickets in my hand, which you can see. Today, we are going to catch a very, very old steam train, which has the most beautiful view that I have seen from a train before. It is amazing. I've been on it before. It looks like something fresh out of like Harry Potter, you know, when you're catching that train to head off to Hogwarts. I wish. I'm very excited because my family's never been and I'm hoping that they love it just as much as I do. So, let's go. <laughs> Granny in her first class service. She doesn't need the bloomin' train. So she's got her own <laughs> means of transportation. <laughs> We're just queuing up now, ready to go on. Go, Granny, go, go. <laughs> Look at that, first class service, just for you. <laughs> Good job, Granny. Off you go, Grandad, Uncle PJ. <laughs> the train just joined up. When the bell starts ringing, apparently that means they're just about ready to go. He just has to wave his flag and then that means it is time to depart. butterflies all around the grass it's been like that the whole way it's absolutely beautiful <laughs> My, we are so uh, close to uh, the front that all the coal <laughs> 
<laughs> he's making it look like he's picking out meat, but we were so close to the front. You know, like front. you see on the Discovery Channel. <laughs> that there's all this coal stuck in my hair. Oh gosh. Oh, there's a lot. Of yeah, I need to wash my hair. So just a bit of advice: if you don't want coal in your hair, then uh, maybe don't sit all the way up the front. Pick a carriage further back if you can. That is not or... what you said, Grandad PG channel. What did you say? You could do with what? I could do with more padding on my bottom. <laughs> well, in fairness, we are sitting on metal. <laughs> Pit stop while they refuel. Up the steam tank. So they're putting water back into the steam tank. Ah, oh, that's so cool. It's a big kettle. Ah, oh, lovely. Franny and Grandad pull. Right, time to stop for our three o'clock. So we're coming here for some tea and biscuits, like the good Irish folk that we are. Granny, myself, and Grandad, the three of us got some strawberries and, and chocolate in a cup again, like yesterday. How yum! Oh, yeah, it's all right. It looks good regardless. Huh? <laughs> Yum. So we've just finished our pit stop. You can have tea, coffee, lunch, whatever you like in there. And now we're heading back to uh, claim our seats back on the carriage. And I also got this. It's just after Christmas, so that's why the Christmas uh, design on it. But I, normally I get magnets when I go and visit a new place. But I've already been here before, so I've had I've got a magnet already. But um, I got this little like Christmas tree ornament where I can put a photo in it from today, which is really nice. Now we're queuing back up to head back onto the train i think i already said that i'm repeating myself at this point but um we're getting uh on a little bit early just so we can make sure we get the window seats again and now here's a view from the back of the train it's nice on the way there we were at the front carriage and now on the uh, on the way back we're at the back carriage We just had a pit stop to let people off this, uh, at this station and now we're heading off again.
we are out that is the end of the day it was lovely i've hope i've hope i hope that you guys enjoy all the footage that i took from the scenery on the train absolutely beautiful the only recommendation i would make is that you don't wear white um or try and avoid sitting too close to the the front of the the train because all the the cold just kind of goes in your face and sticks on your white clothing although it came off quite easily but just in case well and truly a good idea to be cautious otherwise wonderful day if you're ever in melbourne or somewhere uh, around victoria and you can afford the drive head out to belgrave it is absolutely beautiful slonland everyone bye